what are we doing now? Let's ask this. Okay, man, I got so much to cover tonight. This might have to be two parts. What are we doing now that's going to matter in 150 years? Ask yourself that. That's a heavy question. What are we doing now that's going to matter in 150 years? Now, I know what you're thinking, well, I'm not even going to be here in 150 years. That's my point. My point is, what am I doing that's going to matter in eternity? What am I going to have in eternity that's going to matter that I spent my life on? That's what I'm talking about. I'm not, one guy said like, what's your 10 year plan? I'm like, friend, what, what's your 150 year plan? What's your thousand year plan? What's your 5,000 year plan? What's your 5 million year plan? Oh, you thought that you only live 70 years? Oh, no, no, no. If you're a believer, you'll live even after death. You are going to live for a trillion plus years, beloved. Where will you live is the question. Because this life is just a vapor, the Bible says. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It's here one day, gone tomorrow. You can't name one family member from 200 years ago. Name one of your family members from 300 years ago. Name one of your family members. For, you don't remember them. And guess what? They won't remember you. I hate to be the guy to tell you that. In 400 years, if Jesus doesn't come back and tarries, no one's going to know your name. No one's going to know you. You're going to be a, you're going to be a dash between two dates on a tombstone. You have your birthday and your death on your tombstone and there's a dash. That's your entire life. Your entire life is summed up in a, on a dash between a tombstone. And you're going to tell me that it matters that you spent eight hours a day watching Netflix and TikTok and Instagram. Guys, I'm trying to give you, this is real. Don't be barely saved. Don't have no reward on judgment day. Ask yourself, we're all builders according to 2 Corinthians. What am I building? What am I building? Am I building something that's going to matter? Or am I building something that's not going to matter? I'm sorry, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. What am I building? Does it have value? Most of us, and oh, it's strong to say it, but I'm going to say it. Most of us will have spent our life on a pile of ashes. That's the truth. That's the truth. Most people have spent their life on a pile of ashes. And you're going to go, oh, I can't believe I spent 70 years on a pile of ashes. I didn't know that God was going to throw all my works in a fire. I didn't know all my stuff was going to go in a fire. Oh yeah, it's going to go in a fire. It's going to go in a fire. All of it. All of it's going to go in a fire. What will remain? What will be left? Because as you watch your stuff burn, imagine judgment day, watching a bonfire of all of your like, my house, my car, my boat, my career, my degree. I went to school for 14 years. I went to college for 12 years to become that. And God just threw my degree in the fire and you're watching your life burn.